So Maps, thanks for joining me here today. I know you're a busy man. Thank you for having me. Uh, we're talking to entrepreneurs. You know, even for me, I want to know how and where did it all start for you? Um, firstly, thanks for having me. I couldn't miss the opportunity when I heard there'd be food. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, it, it, all, it all just sort of started getting involved in fashion, media, and entertainment, but also trying to figure out how do you keep that uh, that something that's sustainable so that you're not waiting every day for the next paycheck from this job or the next job but trying to create something where you can own what you do and actually be able to develop in things that can grow and start to build something that perhaps is a foundation for future passive income or into something that's greater that can allow you to spread your wings into bigger things um, because you are not limited to uh, you know, a client or an employer that dictates when you will get your your, your next job, and um, that's been what's really fun. I've managed to learn from my old man, you know, seeing him, and I've also seen you know uh, people that he's uh, done business with, and how they've sort of slipped off the radar, um, and uh, you know things have gotten tougher because they didn't put in that that, that early foundation to um, to be in a place where they don't have to stress about where the next job is going to come from. And I think that's what I'm trying to develop now as soon as possible so that it's a lot easier moving forward. Now listen, you sound like quite a busy guy. Eh? But, <laughs> I mean, you know, it can't only be work and no play. Yes. So, you know, what happens at home? Do you like cooking at home? Do you ever get time? Um, you know, what's your favorite meal? Unfortunately for me, when I do find time to, to cook, it's always very quick and I need, I've had to sort of learn how to make these uh, you know, 30 minute meals yeah. or just grab something organic along the way and be able to create something that won't take too much time. But uh, I definitely do sort of miss those younger days when I needed to sit down and plan what I'm going to cook and be able to get all the ingredients and, 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 and build something that's really um, that, that, that's really something that would fill my mom with pride <laughs> because that's where I got you know, any cooking skills from. And, and I miss that because you know, just like with anything else, uh, you, you probably do 10,000 hours uh, a week with how much you cook, but um, you know, <laughs> with, uh, with, with, with doing anything else, you need to actually be constantly working on it. Yeah. But I've always been a bit more of an experimental cook. I won't use words like chef to uh, be respectful to chefs. Um, and usually my aim is edible. <laughs> That's the target. Uh, but uh, I, I try mixing different flavors. Um, I've, I've gotten quite a palate now over the years for spicy food or just food with a bit of a bite in it or uh, really rich flavors that uh, connect with one another in some way or another. I, yeah. So like bolder flavors. Yes. Uh, yeah. So Maps, what is your recipe for success? I think my recipe to success or recipe for success is to be consistent with uh, the type of brand or, um, or the type of person or product that you're trying to project. If we treat my recipe for success as ingredients, I would definitely throw in um, some punctuality uh, with uh, reliability, under promising and uh, over delivering, getting or creating great relationships with, uh, with a touch of good delivery and uh, you're pretty much set to go, you know. Um, people tend to enjoy all those things put, uh, put together and they want to report back, you know, just like a meal that you would make um, that has all the right ingredients put together, people will tell another person that was so good. And that's what I always want to project whenever I work with people, that they want to go and recommend me to someone else. And I think that's been the main attribute and recipe to any of my success. Well, I wish you many more successes. And once again, thanks for spending your time with us. Um, very inspiring. Thank you. Uh, you, you even inspire me to do even more <laughs> things, man. So, Cheers for that. that. Thank you. Cheers.